Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mandeep and in today's video we are going to discuss about derivatives because derivatives are mostly used in our deep learning neural networks. So let's get started with today's video. I'm just going to have a comprehensive video on derivatives and I'm going to share one resource with you from where you can refresh your uh, derivative concepts so that uh, for the upcoming videos on deep learning, you can make the most of the concept uh, while understanding them. So uh, let's get started. Here you can see that I have uh, one graph appearing on my uh, screen. This is my x-axis and this is my y-axis and it is a straight line graph. So let's say if I want to find the slope of this line, slope is basically a uh, term in general terms how much y is changing with respect to change in x. So if I uh, take a look at here, if I am changing one unit, let's say I'm going from two to three in on the x-axis, there is a change in uh, y with respect to uh, uh, x which is three units so x y change y value goes from six to nine so that means change in uh, y delta y by delta x is equal to three so uh, because uh, there is a, a constant change so let's say if i want to find here uh, slope as well here it will also be same uh, so this is what is slope is and it is a very simple straight equation, but in our uh, actual life, we never get uh, this much of uh, simple things. So let's say if I have uh, something, a graph of, for let's say y is equal to x here, x square something, uh, y is equal to x square equation, and the graph would appear something like this. And then you would be able to find that uh, the slope is changing at every point of time. Here slope is different, here slope is different, and here slope is different. It has different values. So how to find a slope in such scenarios? To handle such scenarios, we use derivatives. So derivatives, uh, if let's say I want to take the derivative of this dy by dx will be the, that means change in y with respect to change in x would be um, two of x because uh, in derivatives as per rule, so what, if whatever is the power of the variable, we just bring it in front of that variable and subtract the power by one. So this will become as two x. So uh, this this thing is represented as a that this change is represented as it in terms of a function. So it it is a function which uh, which represents the change in x with respect to uh, change in y with respect to x. So um, this is the derivative thing. And let's say uh, now if we talk about what is difference between slope and derivative. Slope are basically used for linear equation derivatives are used for non-linear equation. Slope is constant and derivative it is a function. Just I just show, showed to you because uh, in, in this equation, uh, the slope is going to be different at a different point of time. We, but in the above, above graph, this one in the straight line graph, the slope is going to be same at every point of time, which is three. So this is about slope and derivative. Now uh, I'm just going to uh, tell you, take you a good example uh, to make a sense of it. Let's say we have this equation fx is equal to x cube plus y square. We have two variables here. And uh, let's say if I want to find the derivative of this function with respect to derivative of x variable, then it is going to be um, three because I, I will bring three in front of x and x and we'll subtract uh, the power by one, it is going to be 3x squared. And y is going to be constant here. So, and the derivative of constant is always zero. You can refer the, uh, so this will come out to be 3x squared. So that means in, in this function, uh, derivative of uh, uh, this function with respect to x is 3x squared. Now, uh, in simple terms, if I, uh, explain this thing so this things represent this thing represents that this df by dx represents this value represents that how much my function is changing with the change in x and this comes out to be 3x square so this is again a function the similarly let's say if i want to find the derivative of f divide a uh, derivative of with respect to derivative of y so it is going to be at the, now in this case x will become constant so it will become zero derivative of it and derivative of y square will become 2y so uh, these are the simple things that you must have studied into your 11th or 12th class i'm just refreshing these things 
So now if I just, if I take the same equation and try to fit into one of the classical problems that we take, let's say house price prediction. So uh, if I term this equation as f of x, y, f of x, y, let's say if I take uh, x is equal to, let's say my bedroom and, and y is, let's say my square feet or size. So the above equation would become something like this f of um, f of uh, bedroom comma y now this function uh, f uh, sorry f of bedroom comma square feet and uh, so what it will become it will become something like this bedroom q because it was x square x cube bedroom q plus uh, square feet square square feet square so now let's say if i uh, if i want to find out now here comes the important thing let's say if i want to find out the rate of change uh, sorry what is the effect of bedroom on my uh, this function which gives me let's say price of my uh, flat or the house so what is the uh, so to get this what is the effect of uh, bedroom let's say if i increase one bedroom or decrease one bedroom how much my price is going to change so this thing can be done by with the help of derivative so what i will do i will try to find out the derivative of you can see that the above equation becomes something like this and i would try to find the derivative of price with respect to bedrooms and then it will becomes as three into bedroom square. So this will this equation will give me the point that how much my uh, price of my uh, flat or house is changing with respect to the bedroom. This is that thing. The similar way, if I want to find out the how much my uh, how much my price how much my price is changing with respect to square feet, derivative of square feet. So it is going to be uh, twice of square feet because my uh, uh, because my uh, this square fit is square so if i take the derivative of square fit square it will become twice into square fit so this is how we can uh, establish the relationship between the independent and the independent variables and we can find them um, how they are affecting each other and if you want to ha have a more comprehensive or more detailed look there is a website which is mathisfund.com you can go to this and you can find they have explained it in very simple terms and you would be able to refresh your concept so that's all for this video guys please check this out and um, if you have liked this video please share it with your friends if you don't like this video please let me know what i can improve upon so uh, that's all for this video guys uh, please share it with your friends subscribe my channel and uh, till the next video bye bye take care